Uh, I don't see him yet. Oh, good. So you can uh, just to double check, Ryan, you can hear us, correct? Ryan Blackstock is typing. Shane is scrolling. Yes, he can hear us. Okay, um, there's probably a bit of a delay, but that's you know to be expected. So uh, here's what we've uh, worked out. Um, there's lots of stupid stuff you can do, but we're going to skip that for right now. Um, but to show the okay, so to go back to what we were discussing earlier, the 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 camera, uh, you added the Google next time uh, to, to to discuss. <laughs> sorry, I got a little note. Uh, see, Shane's got a, a tiara, and I'm going to force his camera up. So there's Shane's tiara. <laughs> I don't know why you would ever use this, but you can. Um, so and and uh, so you can control. I can control which cameras uh, you see. So in this scenario, I am you. I am Ryan. Nice eyebrows. Um, and Shane is uh, Jeff Adams, and you are uh, the masses watching. Um, so in, in this scenario, I, I can control what everybody sees. So if as long as I have a, as long as I click on Shane. Uh, um, we should do that with Jeff. That would be awesome. Um, if I click on Shane, then right now, like that, then that's what everyone's going to see on on the public site. Uh, they can't do anything but watch that. If I take it off Shane, it's going to flip back and forth. So if Shane talks, it'll flip back over to him. Hey, 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 hey! Yo, yo, yo! It's flipped and there up. you go. Yep. Or I can lock it to me, and then Shane, go ahead and talk. It's not switching over to me right now. That's right, because it's mine now. Uh, so that that's how that end works. Um, let's see, he's typing something. Um, cool. Will they see the thumbnails at the bottom? Can you see the thumbnails at the bottom? I would assume you can. I would assume you can too. However, that won't be an issue in a moment, and I'll explain why. Um, <clears throat> okay, so here's why that's not going to become an issue. Um, because in this scenario, me being Ryan Blackstock, um, I am going to be starting a PowerPoint presentation. So I've gone up to screen share, and in, in my case, I'm showing a PowerPoint slideshow in a window uh, that is on one of my uh, on my secondary desktop. So I've clicked that as the item I want to share, and I'm going to say share selected window. And now you're not going to see me. You're going to see the PowerPoint. Um, so in, 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 in a classic scenario, if you're running this, then you're, you're probably going to keep it on Jeff Adams, a.k.a. Shane. Um, and then when he gets to a point, you would slide over, show up for a second, and then slide back. Um, does that make sense? I'm going to assume it makes sense as I move through, but you can stop and ask me any questions you want. Um, so while doing that, I'm going to shrink this window a little bit so I can see. Okay. Um, so I've got this, this windowed PowerPoint running. I can then click through it like you normally would, and you can see slide three and all – because. I'm really running. Just I'm just showing you one app running on my computer. Uh, I still get all the animations and sub points coming in like they normally do. All that's going to work totally normally. Um, so I think that's going to answer everything. Now here's what's cool on the other end of this is is uh, I, I see you're typing something. But go ahead. I'll just keep talking and stop once you finish it. Um, what's what's cool about this is is when it's so right now you can watch it live via the uh, the uh, the YouTube player. Can I make the PowerPoint bigger? Is it small on your side? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can. I can. Sorry. Um, yeah, because I had it. I, I had you on Shane, uh, and and I can control that again from over here by just flipping it back and forth. Um, it's not very exciting PowerPoint, though. I'll tell you. So I can just slide through these by arrowing through. 
like that. Um, but it's going to be one or the other. It's either the PowerPoint or the speaker. Uh, it can't be both. Um, so you just kind of got to roll back and forth. So, like I was saying, so I can, I can, you can watch this live on YouTube. Uh, once it's done, it will automatically convert that into a YouTube video and make it available uh, online at the same address that it's at now. So, um, if people didn't get to watch it immediately, they can go back. Uh, you can also, they can watch it live or they can actually uncheck the live button and roll the video back while you're still doing the presentation. Uh, they will see the thumbnail of Jeff, yeah, when the PowerPoint's up because in this case he's like Shane. So even though I have the PowerPoint up, you can still see Shane sitting there with his happy little face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, the recording thing is kind of cool. Um, there's also quite a few other things that we can do. I'm going to turn off my screen sharing. There's, in, in addition to our uh, awesome Tierra, uh, you could do things like this. And turn that on. So you can create lower thirds uh, for people. Uh, the individual people can do it. You can't do it for them, but they can they can add it on their side. So then you can kind of announce who people are, <clears throat> that kind of a thing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking in this scenario, we'd probably have you know yourself, Jeff Adams, and Marco in the actual Google Hangout, and then everybody else would just be viewing it through that embedded player. Um, then once you guys took questions, they would email those in. That's not a shot anybody wanted to see, Shane. <laughs> so. um, <laughs> that's okay. No one can see it but me. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, uh, you could take those in by email and then um, answer the questions. You know, maybe and at that point, you would probably, I'm thinking, take off the control feature of the video. Marco could speak the question, and then Jeff Adams could answer it, and it's just going to control the back and forth on that side. Um, that's a, okay. Um, Shane, he's asking about the the comment box on the right. So, have you added anything into that? Oh, that was weird. Click back over to you. Okay, you posted a test. Um, let's see if I can see that anywhere. I cannot from inside of Google Hangouts. Um, you know, just as a, as a as an example, I in another window opened up the YouTube link and then muted that feed, um, so that I can, I can actually see a live preview of what you guys are seeing. Uh, but I can't hear it because I've got it muted. And then I can see your testing one, two, three. So you, you could do it that way. You would just have to have another window open um, so that you could kind of monitor that. Um, we do the embed in probably into a visitgraceway.org page that way. Oh, well, okay. Uh, that's something we need to talk about. If we do it as an embed page in visitgraceway.org, then, you know, the, the bonus is we, we re retain all of our... Um, Layout, feel, and all that jazz. The, the the downside is we wouldn't have that comment, that live commenting, um, and we would have to rely on email to be able to post in questions. If we really wanted the live commenting, um, we would just push it. We'd push them directly to the YouTube page and just run it that way. <clears throat> you know, as Marco, much as I like, what? I say Marco could probably uh, just have the YouTube page up, and he can see it from the public side and see the comments. And yeah, and as long as he mutes, you know, the video, because if I unmuted it right now, we'd get tons of feedback because I'll hear myself as I'm saying. Well, well, he wouldn't delay. be in the the hangout anyway, though. 
doesn't have uh, to. 